Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for organic Bible study. It's fresh, it's delicious, it's sweet and juicy, and I hope you'll enjoy five minutes of it with me today as I teach you. From Psalm 122, we're looking today at verses 6 and 7. So if you have your Bible, why don't you grab those? I'm going to read to you from my translation, verses 6 and 7 of Psalm 122. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They are prosperous who love you. Peace be in your walls. Peace in your palaces. Well, you'll notice that we suddenly have changed tax a little bit. We're not quite um, streaming along in the same channel as we were because we were talking about the three beauties of Jerusalem earlier in the week and the declaration of the psalmist, our ascender here, who said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet will stand in your gates, O Jerusalem. And you notice also it's our feet. So he's with a group. And then we have the three beauties of Jerusalem, three, four, and five. And today, we come to something completely different. We've we've switched gears. We've changed channels, and now we're drafting in a different a different way because we begin with the word pray, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Why would we pray for the peace of Jerusalem? Well, because the peace of Jerusalem is an important topic. The visible church, the church militant, that is in this world is constantly under attack. It's incessantly under attack by the viciousness of those who hate it, by the viciousness of the unrighteous who want to destroy it and pull it down. And so he's just telling those there in the caravan with him to pray for the peace of Jerusalem because it is always under attack. And it's just not the heavenly Jerusalem that we're talking about, neither is it the city of our God that inhabits, that is inhabited by uh, the believers today, but we're also talking about, I think, the physical Jerusalem that the Jews have created. We should pray for that Jerusalem, too. And hello, it, too, is under incessant attack by those who hate it because they represent the covenant people on the earth, and they're under attack all the time. And so, yes, we should pray for the Jerusalem that is. We should pray for the Jerusalem that is representing the church. And we should pray for the Jews in this world who are constantly being targeted for destruction. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They are prosperous who love you. Now, prosperity peddlers, there you go. You want some prosperity. It's right there. Look at verse 6. Why don't you get on your knees and pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And then see prosperity come. Verse 7, peace will be in your walls, peace in your palaces. This is a statement, you know, I'm, I'm making this as a faith statement. Peace to you, peace in your walls, peace in your palaces. I want to quote from Neil here, who says, first of all, this represents the strength of the walls and towers of Jerusalem and also the the abundance of the citizens and the provisions and it's the idea that we're going to join in prayer to, you know, kind of support that. And and I'm going to say peace to them. I'm going to pray for peace for them. But also, he, he makes a really good thing here. It kind of changes the tack just a little bit. So he reminds us here how we have revolted against God and how the church militant Jerusalem on earth has failed to do God's will as it is done in heaven. Jerusalem above notes that we have deep reason to send embassy to our king to desire conditions of peace. Boy, isn't that true? Before he comes against us with 20,000 to sit in judgment on our deeds and words and hidden thoughts, to ask him not only for pardon, but for plenteousness. Isn't that beautiful? And so not only are we asking for peace for the physical Jerusalem and for the heavenly, but we're asking from the heavenly peace because we've not quite gotten there yet. We've not done the will of God on earth as it is in heaven, but we're trying, and so we keep suing our king for peace. Join me again tomorrow. We'll look at verses 8 and 9 on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. 
I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.